Fourier Intelligence just did something the robotics world wasn't quite expecting. They launched the world's first fully open-sourced humanoid robot, the Fourier N1. And to say this is a big deal is an understatement. It's not just another slick-looking bipedal machine. It's an open invitation to the global developer community to jump into humanoid robotics without needing to be part of a secretive elite club or billion-dollar R&D department. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another latest AI and robotics update. Fourier Intelligence just unveils their first open-sourced humanoid robot N1, and it's beyond shocking. Let's break this down. For years, the field of humanoid robotics has been dominated by closed ecosystems and proprietary technologies. Major players like Boston Dynamics with their Atlas robot, Tesla with Optimus, and other well-funded startups have treated their robotic platforms as closely guarded secrets, with access restricted to select partners and internal development teams. This closed approach has created massive barriers to entry, slowing overall progress in the field, and limiting innovation to only those organizations with substantial financial resources. Fourier Intelligence's bold decision to open source the N1 platform shatters these barriers completely. The Fourier N1 stands as a remarkably capable humanoid platform right out of the gate. Measuring 1.3 meters in height and weighing 38 kilograms, it features an advanced 23 degree of freedom joint system that enables fluid, human-like movement and dexterity. The mechanical design combines lightweight aluminum alloy with durable engineering plastics, creating an optimal balance between structural integrity and flexible movement. What's particularly impressive is the swappable battery system mounted on the robot's back, allowing for continuous operation exceeding two hours, a critical feature that enables extended testing and development sessions without constant recharging interruptions. Under the hood, the N1 showcases Fourier's engineering prowess with their proprietary FSA 2.0 integrated actuator system. These custom-designed components deliver both the high torque needed for powerful movements and the precise control required for delicate manipulations. In rigorous testing, the N1 has demonstrated stable operation at speeds up to 3.5 meters per second, proving its capabilities in dynamic, real-world environments. The actuator system represents a significant advancement in humanoid robotics offering reliability and performance that rivals or exceeds many closed proprietary systems currently on the market. But the true revolution lies not in the hardware specifications themselves, but in Fourier's unprecedented decision to release everything, and they mean everything, to the public. The company has made available the complete bill of materials, detailed mechanical drawings, comprehensive assembly instructions, and even the core operating software. All of this is being shared through what Fourier calls their Nexus Open Source Ecosystem Matrix, a complete framework designed to empower developers at all levels to build upon their work. The software side is equally open, with Fourier releasing the base operating system code on GitHub along with well-documented API interfaces. This allows developers to not only operate the robot, but to deeply modify and extend its capabilities. The implications are enormous. Researchers can focus on developing new algorithms and applications, rather than wasting time reinventing basic robotic functions. Startups can build specialized versions for niche applications without needing to develop an entire robotic platform from scratch. Universities can use the N1 as both a research tool and teaching platform, training the next generation of roboticists on real-world technology. This open approach stands in stark contrast to the current state of the robotics industry. Most commercial robotic systems are effectively black boxes with severely limited access to their underlying systems. Even when companies do provide some level of programmability, they typically maintain tight control over the core functionality and limit how much users can modify or redistribute their work. Fourier's decision to go fully open source represents a radical departure from this norm, embracing the philosophy that widespread collaboration will lead to faster innovation and better solutions. The timing of this release couldn't be more significant. Humanoid robotics is approaching an inflection point where the technology is transitioning from laboratory curiosities to practical applications. However, progress has been hampered by the fragmented nature of development, 
with each research group or company working in isolation on their own proprietary platforms. The N1 has the potential to become a common foundation that unites these efforts, allowing researchers worldwide to build upon each other's work rather than constantly starting from square one. Early reactions from the robotics community suggest this could be exactly the catalyst the field needs. Prominent researchers have praised Fourier's vision, noting how similar open source movements revolutionized other technology sectors. The comparison to Linux in computing or Android in mobile devices comes up repeatedly. These open platforms enabled explosive innovation by removing barriers to entry and allowing developers to focus on creating value rather than rebuilding foundations. From a business perspective, Fourier's strategy is both bold and calculated. While they're giving away their core technology, they're positioning themselves as the stewards and primary innovators of the platform. This mirrors successful open source business models in software, where companies like Red Hat built billion dollar businesses by offering enterprise grade support and advanced features while maintaining open foundations. Fourier will likely follow a similar path, offering premium versions, specialized components, and professional services to commercial users while keeping the basic platform accessible to all. The N1's launch also raises fascinating questions about intellectual property in the robotics age. In traditional manufacturing, companies fiercely protect their mechanical designs and manufacturing processes. Fourier is turning this model on its head, betting that the benefits of creating a large ecosystem will outweigh the risks of potential imitation. This approach recognizes that in fast-moving technological fields, being at the center of innovation is often more valuable than trying to control all aspects of the technology. For developers and researchers, the opportunities are limitless. The open nature of the platform means that improvements can come from anywhere. A university lab might develop better grasping algorithms, a hobbyist might create novel locomotion techniques, and an industrial partner might adapt the platform for specific manufacturing tasks. All of these advancements can feed back into the ecosystem, creating a virtuous cycle of improvement that benefits all users. The educational implications are equally profound. Robotics programs at universities often struggle with outdated equipment or limited platforms that don't reflect current technological capabilities. The N1 provides a state-of-the-art platform that schools can afford and customize to their specific curriculum needs. This could dramatically improve robotics education worldwide, helping to train more and better prepared engineers to meet the growing demand in this field. Of course, challenges remain. Open source hardware is inherently more complex than open source software due to manufacturing and supply chain considerations. Maintaining quality control across different implementations will be crucial. There are also questions about how to handle safety certifications and liability in an open ecosystem where modifications are encouraged. Fourier will need to address these issues as the platform matures and sees wider adoption. Looking ahead, the success of the N1 platform will depend on several factors. First is whether the robotics community embraces it as a standard development platform. Second is whether Fourier can continue to innovate at the leading edge while maintaining an open foundation. And third is how competitors will respond. Will they open their own platforms or double down on proprietary approaches? One thing is certain, the landscape of humanoid robotics changed today. By choosing openness over control, collaboration over secrecy, Fourier Intelligence has potentially unleashed an innovation wave that could accelerate progress in the field by years. The Fourier N1 isn't just a robot, it's the foundation for a new era of robotics development, one where the collective intelligence of the global community can work together to solve some of the field's most challenging problems. As developers around the world begin to explore the N1's capabilities and push them in new directions, we're likely to see applications and improvements that Fourier's engineers never imagined. That's the true power of open innovation. It doesn't just allow progress, it multiplies it. The Fourier N1 may well be remembered as the moment when humanoid robotics transitioned from being the exclusive domain of well-funded corporations to becoming a true collaborative endeavor involving thousands of minds across the globe. In the coming months and years, we'll witness the fruits of this bold experiment in open robotics. If successful, it could establish a new paradigm for how advanced technologies are developed and shared. 
The Fourier N1 isn't just a product launch. It's the beginning of a revolution in robotics innovation. Thanks for tuning, guys. We'll see you in the next one.